Okay, guys, what is up, and welcome back into the channel last day. Um, we're going to be talking about a random signing Aaron Weld to the practice squad. Uh, that would be a familiar name to some, might not be. Um, so we've been reunited with St. Aaron Weddle. Um, so, yeah. But, um, Weddle was last with the team in 2019. Then he retired during the 2020 and 2021 seasons. He was considerably retired. Uh, and then he's, he spent a majority of his career with the San Diego Chargers from 2007 to 2015. And the Baltimore Ravens of 2016 to 2018. And the Rams for one year, 2019. Um, and then we ended up signing him because obviously Jordan Fuller is out. So he's going to step up. Um, so, you know, we lost the second year safety and defensive captain Jordan Fuller the rest of the year due to an ankle injury suffered against the 49ers. So, um, most likely he's going to serve as for his replacement calling, defensive signals, and essentially will act as the coach on the field. Um, he's 37 years of age, so he, he's not really old, but he's not young either. So, yeah, and he also hasn't played football in a couple years, so, you know, yeah, but he's not the only injured player in the secondary either. Safety Terry Rapp is also under concussion protocol, and cornerback Darius Williams is dealing with a shoulder injury, um, so, yeah, hopefully he can make an impact early against the Cardinals game. But well, looking at the full injury list right now, Michael Floyd with his back is not expected to affect the status. He should still be 100% to play against Arizona. Van Jefferson with a shoulder injury is not expected to affect his status either. He should be 100% ready to play. Darius Williams with a shoulder, they're waiting on further diagnosis. We don't know right now. Um, and then Taylor Rapp concussion protocol where waiting for him to get out of that kind of um and the matthew stafford with a toe that's he shouldn't affect him at all he'll be back no worries um but we also made a couple other transactions um we sent a couple people to the uh practice squad um because we placed you on the board on ir because he's gonna be out for a little while um so honestly he was um Defensive play caller, and he's out after injuring the ankle. Um, he started 16 games this season, made 113 tackles, one interception, and one pass breakup. So, pretty good. 113 tackles, not bad. Jordan Fuller. Um, so, obviously, Taylor Rams is also in con con concussion protocol. Leaving Nick Scott and Terrell Burgess the next players up in the death chart. Uh, and then we also signed defensive back Jake Grzave to the active roster. After spending most of the season in the practice squad. Um, but he has played 30 special team snaps in two games he's been active for. And we also signed Eric Weddle, Blake Countess, and Sherrod Niesman to the practice squad. They're all defensive backs, but obviously Eric Weddle's Eric Weddle is going to get signed up. He also hasn't played since 2019, so yeah, it's gonna take a little while. Get back used to playing football, I guess, kind of. Um, and then Countess hasn't played since 2020 when he played two games for the Eagles. Neesman played 11 games with the Jets this season, made 14 tackles. One interception, three pass breakups. So, yeah, you know, yeah. So, um, you know, obviously we're gonna have Weddle stepping up, and we need next guy to Burgess to step up if Taylor if Taylor Rapp doesn't isn't able to play. But hopefully, Taylor Rapp should hopefully as long as he doesn't have a long term concussion, he should. Be back and ready to play football Monday night. So one nice thing about this is we also get to Monday about these injuries. So players get another day kind of 
and rest up. Make sure they're 100% for Monday Night Football. So it's obviously going to be an interesting matchup us against the Cardinals. We're really important with the Cardinals right now. We won a game. We lost the game. So, and this is for all the glory. Whoever wins this one is going on to the division round. So, you know, it's, it's going to be interesting. So, we'll take a look at it when she comes. But uh, that's all for today, guys. I will see you guys next time.